At 7 a.m., I'm Kyle Pazorski ahead. The fate of Wisconsin's top election official plus a gymnastics legend passes away. Your top stories are coming up. And it's going to be a pretty active week with plenty of rainfall and possibly our first snow. All the forecast coming up. And later, as the Trump transition continues, the moves that the president elect is making to fill out his cabinet. We got those details all ahead here on Weekend Mornings. And thanks for joining us. It is Sunday, November 17th. Actor Danny DeVito turns 80 today. Well, let's get straight to the first sworn forecast. Jake Montesano standing by with what you need to know. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Kyle. Temperatures right now pretty comfortable this time of the morning, mostly looking at temperatures in the 40s, a few 30s further west for portions of Minnesota, but really all of Wisconsin in the 40s, so very mild for this time of the year. Winds are a bit breezy for locations, especially for central and northern Wisconsin, where wind speeds are up around 10 to 20 miles per hour, but southern Wisconsin, we're seeing some pretty calm winds right now, and the wind's not really going to be a huge factor today. Looking at the current radar, very light sprinkles right now for the eastern portion portion of Wisconsin and we're going to continue to see the possibility of sprinkles today but for the most part we're going to see pretty quiet weather so looking at the forecast throughout the day cloudy skies for southern Wisconsin sunshine for La Crosse and surrounding areas especially north and west of La Crosse but these clouds are going to be very persistent for Madison and surrounding areas and again we could see some sprinkles at times but that will be just about it we'll finally see those clouds clear out of the area overnight so clear skies are in the forecast tonight but those clear skies are going to be short lived as we're going to see plenty of rainfall by the time we get to Monday afternoon and evening. But I'll talk about that later. Here's a look at today. Cloudy skies, highs in the 50s for Madison, pretty calm winds. Sunshine for La Crosse, but despite the sunshine, temperatures will be a few degrees cooler. We'll have highs in the lower 50s. Once again, pretty calm winds. But I'll take you through the rainfall and the possible snow coming up in just a bit. All right, Jacob, thank you. To our top stories this hour, on Monday, the fate of Wisconsin's top election official could be decided by the state Supreme Court. A lawsuit heading to the court focuses on the legality of appointees staying in positions after their terms expire rather than a matter of performance. Wolf's term expired in 2023. The Republican-controlled Senate later voted to fire her in a symbolic gesture leading to this current lawsuit. Legendary gymnastics coach Bella Caroli has died. USA Gymnastics confirmed the 82-year-old's death on Saturday. No cause was given. Crowley, along with his wife, rocketed to fame in the 1970s as they coached Romania's Nadia Kumnic. The 14-year-old became the first uh, gymnast in history to score a perfect 10 during the 1976 Summer Olympic Games in Montreal, Canada. Crowley and his wife defected to the United States in 1981. President-elect Donald Trump appeared in New York City Saturday night attending a UFC event along with Elon Musk and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Trump may be facing a political fight, though, to confirm Kennedy along with his other picks. CBS's Bradley Blackburn is tracking the latest. Before his return to the Oval Office, President-elect Trump arrived at the Octagon, sitting ringside for a UFC event in Madison Square Garden along with Kid Rock and Elon Musk. In the same arena where he hosted a controversial October campaign rally, Trump was joined by some of the faces he wants in his new administration. On Saturday, Trump picked Chris Wright to lead the Department of Energy. Wright, an energy company CEO, has pushed for more fossil fuel production and claimed there is no climate crisis. Some of Trump's choices are drawing intense scrutiny. Trump's team is defending Pete Hegseth, the Fox News host and military veteran, picked as a potential defense secretary and who was investigated for sexual misconduct allegations. Hegseth's attorney told the Washington Post he paid his accuser as part of a non-disclosure agreement, but denies any wrongdoing. Trump's choice for Attorney General Matt Gates was investigated by the House Ethics Committee over allegations of sexual misconduct and illicit drug use, which he also denies. But the findings haven't been released, and Gates has resigned from the House. Speaker Mike Johnson says the report should stay sealed. Stick to the tradition. Do not release a report on a former member of the House because it would open a dangerous Pandora's box. The president-elect wants to avoid a political fight over his more controversial nominees by using recess appointments to bypass the Senate confirmation process. But it's not clear even a Republican-led Senate will yield that power. Bradley Blackburn. Now, the incoming Senate Majority Leader John Thune has said confirming Trump's nominations will be priority number one with an aggressive schedule to complete the process. 
Now to some medical news. Uh, federal health officials are sounding the alarm. They are confirming a deadlier form of MPOX has turned up in California. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced Saturday the person diagnosed with the disease recently traveled to eastern Africa where an MPOX outbreak is ongoing. The patient has undergone treatment and is currently isolating at home. California and the CDC are working to identify any people who may have come in contact with the patient. Standing desks are a big seller and the market for them is expected to grow in the coming years, but a new study from Australia may make you think twice before you buy a standing desk. That's because researchers found that prolonged standing may not improve heart and health and could even cause other problems. While prolonged sitting has long been associated with obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases, researchers found standing did not reduce the risk and instead increased a person's risk of circulatory problems. Researchers say the key to staying healthy is moving and interrupting long stretches of sitting and standing. Happening now, millions of Americans in the Northeast were under red flag warning Saturday as severe drought worsened conditions for more wildfires there. Firefighters have been battling the Jennings Creek wildfire along the New York, New Jersey border since last week. Jen Sullivan reports. Firefighters in Greenwood Lake, New York, just about an hour northwest of New York City, battling wildfires this week. Much of the region grappling with severe drought, further fueling conditions for fires like this and forcing some residents out of their homes. We realized suddenly it was like 100 yards away from these houses right here. More than 5,000 acres have burned since the fires broke out along the New York-New Jersey border last Friday. Some 300 firefighters from multiple agencies, some as far as Montana, helping battle the flames. Very, very scary. Almost surreal. Like, you know, it's there, but you're like, is this really happening, you know? But, you know, it's your home and you're just so, so scared of what's going to happen. While officials say it's nearly 90% contained, firefighters concerned about conditions Saturday as winds picked up. We are very concerned about those winds. The extreme dry conditions triggering red flag warnings across the Northeast from New Jersey up to Maine Saturday. Our crews will be out there monitoring and working some hose lines, cooling any hot spots, and then uh, just making sure there's no additional flare ups along the line. As the Northeast deals with drought, the Southern Plains bracing for severe weather. Strong storms Sunday night into Monday morning could cause isolated tornadoes and damaging winds. Western Texas and parts of Oklahoma could see up to four inches of rain. In New York, I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. Prosecutors are alleging Sean Diddy Combs has attempted to obstruct justice in his sex trafficking case while behind bars. In a court filing on Friday, prosecutors accused Combs of evading monitoring uh, by using telephone accounts of other inmates. Prosecutors also alleged Combs used three-way calls to reach individuals who were not on an approved contact list. He is also accused of using a non-authorized third-party system to send text messages to individuals who were also not on the approved list. Prosecutors say he has sought to contact potential witnesses and accusers with the goal of blackmailing them to keep them quiet. Some stunning new revelations are coming out about the one-time cult leader Charles Manson. A new docuseries that will air on Peacock obtained 20 years of jailhouse recordings from Manson. In one clip, he claims he murdered people long before he was involved in the infamous Manson murders that terrorized Los Angeles during the 1960s. Manson says he killed some people while he was living in Mexico. He later was convicted for orchestrating a wave of murders that left seven people dead, including actress Sharon Tate in 1969. While Manson ordered the killings, he never participated, and he died in prison in 2017 in the age of 83. Time is 7.09, still ahead. President Biden visits foreign leaders, but those in China are focused more on the incoming president. We got the details. Plus, let's take a live look outside at the state capitol again. Jacob has another check of the forecast just around the corner on weekend mornings. 
Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC turn your design dreams into reality. With customized solutions and quality products, our passion and expertise will help turn your room into a dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. There's a fine line between gorgeous and Griswold. Don't get tangled up this season. Instead, enhance your home with Cardinal's smart outdoor lighting solutions. You'll spend less time dangling off a ladder and more time enjoying what really matters. We'll install smart outdoor lighting solutions catered to your needs so you can go from fancy to festive in just one tap. Light up your home like never before. Book online and save 10% on smart outdoor lighting solutions with Cardinal. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. It's the Get Holiday Ready sales event with the Ford crew. What happened? Someone took the Bronco out for an extended test drive. They used all the goat modes. Goes over any type of terrain. They did it all, man. Looks like they had a lot of fun. Those boots are awfully muddy, Sam. My boots? I did it. I'm going to do it again. Lease a new Bronco Sport Big Ben for only $3.99 a month or a Bronco Big Ben for just $4.99 a month for 36 months. I've got arthritis in my joints. I would walk 10 steps and not have to sit down. I wanted to do anything other than go through the pain and the effort of the surgery. That's when Mike discovered QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. All natural treatments to restore and repair your damaged joint tissue and get you back to living a normal life again with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. Afterwards, I felt like I really made the right choice. It's a tremendous success. Join tens of thousands of satisfied patients who have found lasting relief from their joint pain. Request a free consultation and find out if you're qualified for this therapeutic breakthrough. Call 608-927-4530. If you want to avoid the process of surgery and the pain and the effort, you need to go to QC Kinetics. Isn't it time you got your life back? Call now for your free consultation. 608-927-4530. 608-927-4530. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the three things you need to know. We are going to see a very small chance of rain today, but beyond that, we're going to be mostly dry, and you folks in La Crosse have about a 0% chance of rain. This will mostly be for Madison and surrounding areas, but it's only going to be in the form of sprinkles. Now, for Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning, Everyone will see rainfall and we will see plenty of it. And then temperatures will cool down with some possible snowfall later in the week on Wednesday. So I'll talk about that in a moment. But first, here's a look at today's forecast. Once again, cloudy skies in southern Wisconsin, highs in the middle 50s, sunshine for La Crosse and surrounding areas, upper 40s and lower 50s for you folks. Now, as we look at tomorrow's forecast, Monday morning, we're going to start out rather clear, but clouds will move in pretty quickly. And then the rain is expected to move in during the afternoon. And once it does move in, it is likely not going to stop for the rest of the day on Monday into early Tuesday morning. And rainfall is expected to be heavy at times. Also could see some isolated thunderstorms, but we're not going to see any severe weather. Also want to point out, if you notice, this is going to be for everyone. Again, just some a few small breaks in the rainfall, but for the most part, we're going to see consistent rainfall and it will often be heavy, especially during the Monday evening hours and even into early Tuesday morning, likely before sunrise, though, because once we get closer to sunrise, a lot of the rain will have cleared out of the area. So you can see some of those lingering showers for areas east of Madison and north of Madison, but once we get towards the afternoon, we'll continue to see cloudy skies, but we are going to be fairly dry. And then we're going to see some breaks in the clouds uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday, and then that's when the temperatures will cool down. By Wednesday, we could see that snowfall. But here's a look at the amount of rain that's in the forecast for Monday into Tuesday. 
everyone expect to see about an inch or more could see up to two inches of rainfall. So it is going to be very uniform. And again, there's going to be about a 100% chance of rain for everybody. So just be aware of that. Now it's also going to be windy and the winds are going to increase as the rain moves in. So calm winds tonight into Monday morning as well. But as we get to the afternoon, those winds are going to pick up and then Monday night is when the winds will be the strongest where wind gusts could be up to 40 miles per hour at times. So it is going to be a windy one and is going to be rainy, especially Monday night into very early Tuesday morning. Now beyond that, we could see some snowfall on Wednesday. I'll talk a little bit more in detail about that uh, in just a bit, but we are at least going to be seeing very cold temperatures as highs will only be in the upper 30s and lower 40s and that's going to continue for the rest of the 10 day forecast starting on Wednesday. So today will really be the last normal fall like day for quite a while because rain on Monday Tuesday we'll see some rain as well and the temperatures will cool down throughout the day on Tuesday into Wednesday for Madison. We'll see kind of a mix Wednesday into Thursday lacrosse. You folks will mostly see snowfall Wednesday, but also Thursday. It's mostly going to stay southeast of you folks in lacrosse kind of impacting southern and eastern Wisconsin. And even as we get towards the weekend, although we are looking a little bit more dry, we do have a small chance of snow and then it's also going to remain cool. So definitely going to be more winter like starting on Wednesday. All right, Jacob, thank you. Now you got to watch this. The Taj Mahal was seen amid toxic smoke on Saturday as air quality in northern India deteriorated over the past week. About 136 miles away in the country's capital of New Delhi, the India Gate War Memorial was also shrouded in smog as local residents exercised around it. The city battles smog, a toxic mix of smoke and fog, every winter as cold air traps dust, emissions, and smoke from illegal farm fires. Moving on, President Joe Biden was in Peru on Saturday meeting with leaders of the Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation in what is likely his last trip abroad as president. The countries participating include China, whose leaders have a focus less on the lame duck president and more on the president-elect. CBS's Rami Innocencio is in Hong Kong. Beijing is bracing for a new dawn in China-U.S. ties. Wary about the second coming of an emboldened President Donald Trump. And I'm doing the same thing with China. We're going to tariff the hell out of them. Last time, Trump was not friendly to China, this woman told CBS News in Beijing. Personally, I like Trump, but he does things that are outrageous, said this man. Trump's top threat is economic, eye-watering tariffs of 60 percent on all Chinese imports to protect American manufacturing. In terms of retaliation choices for China, it's very limited. Yeah. Chen Zhuwu at Hong Kong University says that's because China relies on America for crops and semiconductors. I would not want to invest too much in China. The play is America. That's right. On top of China's slowing economic growth, its property market that's crashed and its youth unemployment that's hit a record high. The biggest flashpoint of all. The sovereignty over Taiwan is the red line of all the red lines Beijing says the democratic island of 23 million is a separatist province and has vowed to retake it. The U.S. is legally committed to supporting Taiwan's defense, but many fear Trump may not. To what extent is an isolationist America good for China? China does not want to replace the United States as the top dog. China needs to uh, put its own house in order. And Xi Jinping's job is looking more difficult with Trump naming more China hawks to his cabinet, like Representative Mike Waltz for his national security advisor and Senator Marco Rubio as Secretary of State. Rubio has called China the U.S.'s most advanced adversary and Beijing has sanctioned him twice. Ramey Innocencio, CBS News, Hong Kong. Some consumer news now. Barnes & Noble is set to expand its operation. The largest retail bookseller in the country recently returned to a previously vacated location in Washington, D.C., and that return there is part of the more than 60 new stores the company expects to open this year. Barnes & Noble is bucking a recent trend by doing this, as many retailers, especially ones with brick-and-mortar stores, have struggled to compete with online shopping. 
but Barnes & Noble has stayed relevant. Analysts say that's because the bookseller ramped its business model up by prioritizing consumer preferences in communities over a one-size-fits-all approach. It's been nearly three years since iconic entertainer Betty White died. She was just weeks shy of turning 100 years old. And now the U.S. Postal Service will honor her with a postal stamp next year. The art director for the Postal Service designed this stamp that you're seeing here. It was based off of a photograph taken of White in 2010. Besides the Betty White stamp the Postal Service announced on Friday, it will also roll out a number of new stamps in 2025, which will honor nature, history, and culture, as well as icons like White. It's now 7.20 here on your Sunday morning. Still ahead, we take a look at a growing sports community. Plus, here's a look at today's day in history. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer, only on News 3 Now. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. I just this morning made a new hole in, in my belt, so that was super exciting. Why are women everywhere choosing Sonobello, the advanced solution for permanent fat removal? I saw the results immediately. It's the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. My waist is tiny, so I'm very, very happy. I'm nearly 50, y'all, and my abs haven't been this flat since before I had kids. For a limited time, take advantage advantage of Sonobello's best offer of the year. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Check it out, snatch waist. Loving, loving, loving the results. It will change your life. It did for me. Call 1-888-510-6198. Now, or go to sonobello.com to claim special pricing. At Spectrum, we believe every day unlocks unlimited possibilities to bring you closer to the people and places you love. Spectrum transforms your gaming experience into a galaxy of adventures. And with the fastest, most reliable internet, you're always front row to the entertainment you love, no matter where you are. Get Spectrum Internet Premier for $30 per month when bundled plus a three-year price guarantee. Call 1-833-440-0029. Spectrum Internet puts streaming live TV, sports, and popular apps all at your fingertips. This is the Ergo Smart Base from Tempur-Pedic. And it responds to snoring, so you don't have to. So no more nudging your partner or sleeping on the other side of the house. Because the Temper Ergo Smart Base actually detects snoring, then automatically adjusts to help reduce it all night, every night. Save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get a $300 gift. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Hello, I'm Dan Fields. The holidays have always been a special time for everyone in the Fields family. And we have some great news for you. It's Fields Holiday Sales Event going on right now. New inventory is arriving daily. All new makes and models to choose from and all with end of year pricing. Happy Holidays from Fields during Fields Holiday Sales Event where you can get a great offer like this. Test drive the all new EX90 Recharge Electric and qualify for Volvo Sign and Drive with first payment waived. Costco members also enjoy a bonus. Go to volvocarsmadison.com. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome back. Some of the top schools and collegiate sports athletes from across the western U.S. are competing this weekend in the Esports Commissioner's Cup. Marley Ginter reports. Three, two, one, I'm jumping. With clicks of a mouse Jump. and strokes on a keyboard. Nice, good job. It's game on at the eSports Regional Championships. So we want the best of the best. Hundreds of gamers from across 12 western states competing in Sacramento this weekend at Cal Expo. This is the trophy for the winning team. 22 different college teams are playing five different titles. We have Rocket League, Valorant, Overwatch, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. A street fighter. I got right door, I got right door, I got right door. Armand Rizagi plays tank in Overwatch 2 for UC San Diego. It's a 5v5 team shooter. It's mixed with elements of like FPS and team style. So everybody here is a competitive person. 
and they want to win. The popularity of esports is growing worldwide. It is big business. Video games now generate more annual revenue than the movie and music industries combined. And tournaments like this now have big corporate sponsorships. It's really getting uh, the place that it deserves now in recognition amongst these blue chip brands. More and more colleges and high schools are forming teams that compete in leagues, just like any other sport. At Boise State, we have a 7,000 square foot dedicated esports facility. We offer uh, somewhere in the neighborhood about 200,000 annually in scholarships alone. Sometimes you'll catch them playing for like 12 hours. <laughs> so they need it. They want to be the best. And it's a competition getting a lot more attention as a new generation grows up gaming. And hopefully one day we can have it like college football. Those places fill up stadiums and uh, I hope we can get to that point. Here's a look at the rainfall and snowfall forecast for this week. That rain will move in Monday afternoon and continue overnight Monday into early Tuesday. But throughout the day on Tuesday, it will push off to the north and southern Wisconsin should be dry Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night. But notice the winds, they're going to be shifting coming out of the west and then the northwest by the time we get to Wednesday evening. And here comes that possible snowfall. Now, we're not expecting accumulation, but this could definitely be the first snowfall of the season for a lot of southern Wisconsin and it will be cold enough to see that snow, but it's probably not going to stick. Now, as we get into Thursday, this is where the forecast gets a little bit uncertain. It looks like we could have more moisture back into the area in the form of rain and snow, but it looks like most of that will stay out near Lake Michigan. You folks on the cross probably not going to see any moisture on Thursday. So here's a recap of everything. All rain through Tuesday, next precipitation Wednesday into Thursday, and then we'll dry out a little bit. But we could see some snow showers next week, and although this point in time, it looks like we'll just see some light snow, if anything. Jacob, thank you. There's still a half hour news ahead here on Weekend Mornings. Next, we're going to run through the morning's top headlines. Stick around. We're right back. Dear unbreakable spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend. Toyota Trucks. Right now, lease a new 2024 Tacoma for $299 a month or get 3.99% APR for 72 months on a new Tacoma. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Want a flatter, tighter tummy? Then check out new Ab EX from Sono Bello. After my pregnancies, my body just never bounced back. I had this stomach overhang that made me feel conscious. Emotionally, it was really sad. Feeling good up here, but you look down and you don't. After having my babies, it went a different direction. From here, it went to here, and I just couldn't get rid of that. Introducing Ab EX from Sono Bello. Remove fat and lose excess skin permanently in just one visit. I got the tummy tuck results without the tummy tuck downtime. And I finally got the flat stomach I wanted. I'm able to get back in my size eight jeans. I feel sexy, I feel confident. It just it feels good to feel good and look good. The mommy belly is gone. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-557-5298 or go to sonobello.com. Steinhoffels is your mattress destination for your best night's sleep. Enjoy the luxury and comfort of a Beautyrest mattress. Right now, save up to $600. Add an adjustable base and save up to $400 more. Upgrade your sleep to the Beautyrest Black, where luxury meets innovation. Beautyrest Black mattresses start at just $36 per month when you use Steinhoffels 60-month financing. Plus, you get up to $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Thanksgiving's only a few weeks away, and Fleet Farm's got just what you need to prep for family and friends. For you turkey smokers, Griller's Gold Barbecue Pellets are just $5.99 a bag. And you can never have enough Fleet Farm Mixed Nuts. Two-pound bags are on sale for $12.99. Wash it all down with Bubbler's Sparkling Water. Now just 11 bucks for two six-packs. The holidays will be here before you know it. So stock up now on everything you need at the best prices guaranteed at Fleet Farm. There's a lot to love about life in the 608. Beautiful lakes, miles of bike trails, great local ice cream. News 3 Now's Josh Spreider highlights the people, places, and opportunities that make our community shine. The dreamers and doers. 
and donors. Tell Josh what inspires you, and it might be featured on News 3 Now this morning. Fundraisers, farmers markets, family events. In the 608, weekdays only on News 3 Now this morning. It doesn't get any better than this. It's 7.30 right now. President Biden meets with world leaders, including China's Xi Jinping, at an international summit. Also, President-elect Donald Trump making another cabinet pick this weekend, who he hopes to lead the Department of Energy. Plus, the Badgers take on the nation's top-ranked team, how they did, and what fans were thinking of the matchup. This is Weekend Mornings, and thanks for joining us here on this Sunday morning. I'm Kyle Pizarski. It is November 17th. We begin with the first warm forecast. Jacob Montesano is here and has what you need to know. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Kyle. And right now we're mostly dry, but we do have a few sprinkles out there, especially for uh, areas east of Madison. That may be the case throughout much of the day. If it does rain, though, it is going to be very light. But clouds are going to remain persistent across southern Wisconsin. You folks in La Crosse and surrounding areas, you guys will see plenty of sunshine today, especially north of La Crosse. But Madison, a lot of clouds are in the forecast, some sprinkles, but overall not a lot of rainfall. And then once we get to the overnight hours, the clouds will clear out and then we're going to see clear skies tonight. But the clear skies will be short lived because we're going to see the rain move in by Monday afternoon. Now, looking at the current winds, it is a little bit breezy in central and northern Wisconsin, but pretty calm in southern Wisconsin. That's going to be the case throughout the day. You can see wind gusts up to around 20 miles per hour for the Dells and areas northward. But Madison and surrounding areas, the wind's not really going to be a huge factor. And similar to the cloud cover, we're going to clear up throughout the night in terms of winds with calm winds tonight. But winds are going to pick up once the rain moves in uh, on Monday. But for today, this is kind of the quiet before the storm, although we are going to see plenty of cloud cover for uh, Madison. Highs will be in the middle 50s. More sunshine for you guys in La Crosse, lower 50s light winds again a pretty quiet day especially considering how much rains in the forecast as well as a big temperature drop with some possible snowfall i'll talk more in detail about everything coming up in just a bit all right jacob thank you topping our news this half hour president joe biden met with leaders of the asian pacific economic cooperation saturday likely on his last trip abroad as president Chinese President Xi Jinping telling the president that China is ready to work with Donald Trump for a smooth transition and improved relations. Biden praised what he called candid conversations with President Xi, both in his vice presidential president, and as president. I think that's vital. These conversations prevent miscalculations and they ensure the competition between our two countries will not veer into conflict. Be competition, not conflict. At the meeting, Biden was asked by members of the press how it felt to be at his last APEC summit. He did not respond. Meanwhile, President-elect Donald Trump announced Saturday he's nominating Energy Executive Chris Wright to be the next Secretary of Energy. Wright is the founder and currently the CEO and Chairman of Liberty Energy. He has worked in a number of energy-related fields, including oil, gas, nuclear, solar, and geothermal. On Monday, the Wisconsin Supreme Court could decide on how much lower the state's top election official or how much longer the state's top election official can stay in her role. A lawsuit heading to the court focuses on the legality of appointees staying in positions after their terms expire rather than a matter of performance leaving. Wolf's term expired in 2023 and the election commission was divided over her reappointment. Then the Republican-controlled Senate voted to fire her and a symbolic gesture leading to this current lawsuit. The Wisconsin Badgers welcome in the top ranked team in the country on Saturday, and it's something that doesn't happen all too often at Camp Randall Stadium. The Ducks came in with a perfect record, while the Badgers have struggled at times this season. We spoke with some of the Oregon fans prior to Saturday's matchup. It's, uh, it's one thing I spend too much money on is Oregon football, so this is a, <laughs> this is a great away venue. Camp Randall is going to be Tent Randall after we're done with it. Coming in and showing them how to play a little football, tactics, you know, bigger, better, faster. Is their faith in the Ducks proved to work out in their favor, getting the win, but it was close with a 16-13 to win. Andrew has the full game highlights coming up in about 15 minutes. We've now learned the driver of a motorcycle involved in the crash in Jefferson County has died from their injury Saturday. According to Jefferson County Sheriff Travis Mays, the crash happened Friday afternoon on State Highway 89 north of County Hobby Q. 
An initial investigation showed a motorcycle was traveling northbound on State Highway 89 when it was struck from behind. Staying local, by now you've likely heard the dangers of drinking and driving, as well as texting while driving. But what about getting high and driving? Well, it's a question researchers at UW are trying to understand as they see if it has any effect. Reporter Ellie Liliberte shows us what unique tools the study is using. Driving in this car may not get you far, but it serves another purpose. From one roadway to another. We're looking for changes in how they're driving. Heather Barkholt is an associate professor at UW-Madison. She's trying to figure out the implications of Delta 8 and Delta 9 products on driving. I looked at the literature and I found out that we don't know much at all. Delta 8 and 9 are hemp-derived products that can still get you high. And there's this misconception that people consume cannabis and are actually better drivers. So we want to gather some objective data on how driving performance changes when consuming these compounds. The driving simulator in UW's medical engineering building has been used to study texting and driving, drinking and driving, and now the effects of cannabis on driving. And the beauty of the full car is that when we have subjects that come and do testing in this vehicle, they forget quickly that they're not actually driving a vehicle on a real roadway. David Noyce is the director of the driving simulator lab. He showed me how it works. Uh, and you put it in drive and off we go. For this pilot study, five people will operate the simulator after a dose of Delta 8, Delta 9, or a placebo. Researchers will then look at factors like swerving in the lane and response times. If we're not studying these compounds in people, we're not getting representative data. Part of the goal is to educate on the impacts of being high while driving and why people maybe shouldn't take the high road that we need to get better at understanding how cannabis itself impairs people and what those impairment measures look like so that when law enforcement are out patrolling the roads and making sure that people are behaving safely, we're giving them the best data we have on what to look for. Reporting on UW-Madison's campus, I'm Ellie Law Liberté for Weekend Mornings. Time now is 7.37. Still ahead, Jacob is back with a quick check of today's forecast. Plus, we get a look inside the first of five holiday markets being put on by the Dane County Farmers Market. That's next on Weekend Mornings. Shopping online for a purple mattress? We get it. With Purple's unique Gel Flex grid and multiple foam layers, you'll experience effortless sleep that's motion adaptive, temperature balanced, pressure relieving, and ultra supportive. But which Purple mattress is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. And during our Black Friday sale, save up to $1,000 on mattress and base bundles and get an instant gift. Shop Purple at Denver Mattress, the easiest way to find your perfect purple. For 15 years, Gilda's Club Madison has provided free emotional support, cancer education, and hope to children and adults facing any kind of cancer. Is someone in your life facing cancer? Support is available in Dane County and virtually throughout Wisconsin. To learn more, visit gildasclubmadison.org so that no one faces cancer alone. Hot tubs, hot tubs, hot tubs. The Hot Tub Swim Spa Expo is at Bachman's Pool Spas and Saunas this weekend only. Hundreds of hot tubs from the world's leading brands like Hot Spring Hot Tubs, all discounted. Hot tubs as low as $79 a month. 0% financing. Swim spas up to $20,000 off. Saunas as low as $79 a month. Hot tubs, swim spas, and saunas up to 40% off. Come save thousands this weekend at Bachman's Pool Spas and Saunas. SpaExpoWisconsin.com. Hey, babe, what's a five-letter word that starts with P-H and ends with N-E? Clue is get four of these for free with four lines for $90 a month at U.S. Cellular. James, have you tried the four free foam flakes? I love these free foam flakes. Ah! Hey, Dad, Dad, four free foam. Each serving has four free foams. Four free foams? Thanks. Oh. They're right behind me, aren't they? Choose four free phones and four lines for $90 a month. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular.
Bill Nissan, we treat our customers the way we want to be treated. It's in everything we do and every deal we make. You won't find that at most other dealerships. Come see why you'll feel great buying a vehicle from James Bill Nissan. Exceptional savings, award-winning service. It hits you when you step into any of the three Willie Street Co-op stores, the smell of freshness. We work with hundreds of farms and vendors to bring you natural, organic, and local food selection unmatched in Madison. Everyone is welcome at Willie Street Co-op, and if you join our more than 30,000 owners, you'll get more sales, discounts, and perks. Fresh, local, organic, yours, Willie Street Co-op. Let's take a moment and check out some weather photos sent to us. This first photo was sent in by Scott from McFarland showing a very nice sunset. And we actually have a few very nice sunset photos. And if you want to submit your own, you can with that QR code in the top left of the screen. I'll keep that on screen for a few moments as we go through some other photos. This next one sent in by Dawn from Richland County. Thank you, Dawn, for submitting your photo. And this last one was sent in by Carolyn from Orfordville. So thank you, Carolyn, for submitting your photo. Again, you can scan that QR code in the top left of the screen to submit your own photos. But if you can't at the moment, you can go to our website and then click on the weather tab. The website's channel3000.com. Click on the weather tab and then scroll down until you see post your own and then post your photo. Give us your name and location. It is as simple as that. Once again, thank you all for all the photos you submit. We love receiving them. Jacob, thank you. The Dane County Farmers Market kicked off its first to five holiday markets at the Monona Terrace on Saturday. For the next four Saturdays, the market is taking all of its vendors, goods, and customers from across Wisconsin inside for all to enjoy. 65 vendors will be on tap for you to get all your Thanksgiving and Christmas meal shopping done, along with a selection of locally made candles, soaps, wreaths, and much more. Look forward to it to talk to other farmers too, just to, you know, camaraderie. We go through the same trials and tribulations during a growing season, so it's always enjoyable to catch up with other farmers. Last day of the holiday market is on December 21st. Many students came together at Madison College on Saturday to emphasize the need for a sustainable future and took place as part of the 2024 Dane County Youth Climate Conference. Three groups came together to make this event happen. Those include the Dane County Office of Energy and Climate Change, the United Nations Association of Dane County, as well as the Dane County Youth Environmental Committee. In my day-to-day -day life, I've noticed the environment change since I was a young kid. And so that's how I first got my passion for the environment, is just seeing it firsthand, seeing Madison Lakes close because of bacteria and algae, and not being able to do my fun summer activities. Students from dozens of schools across Wisconsin connected with other environmental groups on finding climate solutions together. Now, if you want to help them build a sustainable future, all you got to do is visit theconnectiondane.org. Coming up now on 743, coming up next, Andrew checks in with what's new in the sports world and how the Badgers did in last night's game. And we're taking a live look outside again. Jake was back with the full forecast next on Weekend Mornings. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. I was an occupational therapist and I had lost my position. I was able to just go the next day, oh well, I can dash. I love it for the freedom. I can schedule myself. Also, dashing just gives you a sense of purpose. Having portable benefits would be really awesome for me because I can use them to help cover my vision, co-pays, and adding to my 401k. And I could continue to build that till I retire.
What are you doing? Oh, we did our home insurance ourselves, but don't feel protected. So you're building your own American Family Insurance roof line? Yeah, you know, life's better when you're protected under American Family's roof. That's not how it works. Dad, we'll go. It's gonna hit. See, that's how it works. For real protection, save up to 23% by bundling your home and auto with us. Germs, dust, bacteria, unseen to the naked eye. They build up in your ductwork and contaminate the air you breathe. <coughs> Gross! Breathe easier this winter. For a limited time, save $75 off on duct cleaning services and save $50 on whole home enhancing ionizer to really enhance your home's air quality. You and your family will breathe easier all winter long. But don't wait, these offers end soon. Schedule your service with Cardinal today. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'm gonna be fine. Bye. Honey, hi. Hey, how are you guys? We're getting by. Great, me too. Can we call you back? You never want to lose your edge. This is an SUV that really understands that. The Lexus RX. Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's a final look at the three things you need to know. Small chance of rain today, mainly for southern Wisconsin. You folks in La Crosse probably not going to see anything. But then everyone will see rainfall Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning, and then temperatures will cool down after that rain, and we could be seeing some snowfall later in the week. So starting tomorrow morning, we'll start out rather clear, but clouds will move in very quickly, and then the rainfall is expected to move in during the afternoon hours. And once it starts, it is likely not going to stop throughout the night into Tuesday morning. Now it will eventually clear out uh, during the morning on Tuesday, but Monday afternoon and especially Monday night, we are going to see plenty of rainfall. Rainfall will be heavy at times and also could be heavy for a few hours. Can't rule out some isolated thunderstorms as well, but we're not expecting any severe weather. So everyone expect to see rainfall and everyone is expected to see heavy rain at times. Once we get to Tuesday morning, especially around sunrise, the rain will clear out areas further west. We'll see that rain clear out uh, a little bit earlier. And then by Tuesday afternoon, we are going to be dry with possibly some uh, peaks of clear skies Tuesday night. Probably not going to see any sunshine during the day on Tuesdays. We're going to remain cloudy, but again, we're not going to see any precipitation by Tuesday afternoon. Total rainfall will be likely over an inch for just about everybody. So there is pretty much a 100% chance of a rainfall. We could see some areas get up to two inches, if not a little bit over two inches, depending on where the heaviest rain does indeed fall. We're also going to be very windy and the winds are going to pick up as the rain moves in. So fairly quiet for today and especially tonight in the wind department with uh, winds not really being a big factor. But as we get into Monday afternoon, the winds are going to pick up with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. But then overnight, they're going to be up to 40 miles per hour. And although winds are going to continue to be breezy later in the week, Week, they are going to calm down a little bit as the rain clears out, but still can see those wind gusts up around 25 miles per hour for Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday. Now the winds are also going to shift out of the northwest later in the day, Tuesday and Tuesday night, but that will also uh, cool things down. And as we get into Wednesday evening, looking from the northwest, here comes the possible snowfall. Now we're not expecting any accumulation, but this could be the first snowfall that southern Wisconsin has seen so far this year, at least for a lot of the area. Now once we get into Thursday, this is when the forecast becomes a little bit unclear as to just how far east this moisture will make it, excuse me, excuse me how far west, because most of the moisture will stay east near Lake Michigan. So you folks in the cross probably not going to see any uh, moisture on Thursday, but definitely could see that snowfall Wednesday. But even
even if it doesn't uh, accumulate, we are going to see much colder temperatures and that's going to continue from Wednesday through the end of the 10 day forecast. So it will be much more winter like for Wednesday and the rest of this week. And again, we could be seeing our first snowfall with a mixture possible Thursday, mainly for Madison and points eastward. So definitely enjoy today because it will be the calmest and mildest day of the next 10 days. For the third time this season, a top five team in the country came into Camp Randall last night. The number one team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, brought their perfect record into Madtown. Braden Locke trying to do everything in his power and then some to change that. And he had his chances, so did the Badgers, trailing 6-3 and Locke fires a rocket to a screening Will Pauling, who gets in for the score. Wisconsin took a 10-6 lead at half and Camp Randall was buzzing. But in the third, I mean, Oregon is the top ranked team for a reason, and you knew that they would come back. Jordan James runs in for the touchdown, make it 16-13 late Oregon leading. Braden Locke with a chance to play hero. He had two of them, both ended like this. In an interception, the number one team stays undefeated. They take down the Badgers 16-13. Well, in much, much, much better news, Platteville finished off a near-perfect regular season yesterday. They beat UW Stout, and for the first time since 1970, the Pioneers clinched the WEAC title outright. They are headed to the postseason. Wisconsin women's hockey has done just about everything, but they hadn't beaten Ohio State in Columbus since 2020. That changed yesterday, and not to mention the Buckeyes beat the Badgers in the national championship game last year, so you could say Wisconsin wanted the sweep, but dug themselves into an early hole down to nothing. Casey O'Brien shot deflected, and Kirsten Sims, who else, gets a piece of it. Her sixth goal of the season makes it a two-to-one game, but later it was more of the same, chasing that same two-goal deficit. Maggie Scandal gets another one back, but the scoring, at least for Bucky, would stop there. The Badgers settle with the series split 3 to 2 Ohio State, the final score. But for the Badger men, they really still had that chance at a sweep and needed it in the worst of ways. Maybe that Friday night win was all they needed. Got out to an insane start out, e out east last night, not even halfway through the first, and Tyson Dick makes it 4 0. Wisconsin goes on to win it in dominating fashion, 6 to 3, the final. And yesterday was day two of the Girl State Swim Meet, which of course means it's time for Division One. DeForest Peyton Flowers capped off her Norski career in storybook fashion, surging away and winning the state 50-yard freestyle. And Middleton trying to repeat last year's state title. Started off well, 200-yard medley relay team anchored, of course, by Celia Miller, and Miller brings it home. Middleton takes the 200 and the state title. That's back-to-back -back state titles for the Cardinals. That's your morning sports fix. Have a sensational Sunday. Thank you, Andrew. And still ahead, we got a tribute to a Golden Girls icon. That's next. We're back in a moment. Big, beautiful sectional for just $9.87 with a free ottoman. Big deals. Black Friday deals. All month long, up to 60% off list. Deals so big, prices so low. While they last, only at Slumberland Furniture. It shouldn't be this easy to get a dinner this tasty on the table. Our all-new, no antibiotics ever, all-natural pork and chicken meatballs heat up in minutes and are delicious in a variety of dishes or appetizers. They're as easy as heat, sauce, and serve. They're packed with protein and free from gluten, dairy, soy, and wheat. They're so juicy and flavorful because we use only high-quality ingredients in a few simple spices. Jones, making mealtime better since 1889. I've suffered from shoulder pain for about 22 years. It got to where I couldn't even wash my hair. I couldn't even brush my teeth without pain. That's when Sophia checked out QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. All natural treatments to restore and repair your damaged joint tissue and get you back to living a normal life again with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. I chose QC Kinetics because my son, he had had his back done, and he had great success with it. Join tens of thousands 
thousands of satisfied patients who have found lasting relief from their joint pain. Request a free consultation and find out if you're qualified for this therapeutic breakthrough. Call 608-407-7826. I was in the shower washing my hair and I realized, oh my God, I'm washing my hair and it doesn't hurt. I'm pain free and I want to thank you, QC Kinetics. Isn't it time you got your life back? Call now for your free consultation. 608-407-7826. 608-407-7826. Soft drinks are just a buck at Wendy's. Any size, any time. 3 p.m. Dollar Fanta. 10 p.m. Sprite. 7.46 a.m. Coke. You're so free. Dollar soft drinks, any size, gotta be Wendy's. Owning my own home is nice. You can just come home knowing that it's yours. It's a sense of pride, sense of ownership, and enjoying it with everyone I love and care for. Make a lasting impact on local families in need. Please donate today. It's the Black Friday Mattress Sale at Slumberland, up to 60% off list. Get a Sealy Posturepedic hybrid mattress for just $6.99. Or save up to $800 on select adjustable mattress sets. Hear this help reduce snoring. In 2011, Wisconsin's Act 10 law brought unprecedented protests to our state capitol. But four months ago, the pendulum swung back. I'll show you how Act 10's repeal could open a new path forward for state workers. Monday night on News 3 Now at 6. The most important part of my job is to make sure that our public, our community is safe and also to educate the public on weather. We're the certified most accurate team in town for forecasting, so that forecast has to be ready when you walk in the door. Always first, always accurate. Fine this morning, it's been nearly three years since iconic entertainer Betty White died. She was just weeks shy of turning 100 years old and now the U.S. Postal Service will honor her with a stamp next year. The art director for the Postal Service designed it, and it was based off of a photograph taken of White in 2010. Besides the Betty White stamp, the Postal Service also announced Friday it will roll out a number of new stamps next year, which will honor nature, history, and cultural icons such as White. Now here's Jacob with one final check of your Sunday forecast. Thanks, Kyle. Today will kind of be the calm before the storm. We do have a very small chance of rain for Madison and surrounding areas, but any rain will be very light. For Monday, we'll start out dry. Rain will move in Monday afternoon, and once it starts, it will not stop until Tuesday morning. Although we only have a, we have about a 60% chance of rain Monday during the day, Monday night, that rain chance is about 100. Everyone will see rainfall, and most of our area will see over an inch, possibly over two inches for a few isolated locations. Rain will clear out Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon. We are looking dry for Tuesday night, but then we'll see more precipitation Wednesday, but temperatures will cool down quite a bit, and this will be in the form of rain and snowfall. And we also could see additional mixed precipitation Thursday, although Thursday, the mixed precipitation still a bit unclear, not as certain, but temperatures will stay cool through the end of the week and early next week. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you all for watching. Have a great Sunday, folks.